been dry nearly every place today. A weak front in the area and some moisture might still spark a little shower briefly in spots early this evening, but first one five Doppler network is dry just about everywhere across the valley. If you look closely though, you can see a couple things. There's one little faded green line right there. That's the sea breeze coming in. This other little faded green line right there moving south in Hidalgo County. That's a cold front. So any of these little boundaries may try to spark a little sprinkle or shower. In fact, one little shower you can see flaring up just kind of on the edge of Willacy County and Kennedy County. A couple of little small showers there, but nothing big. I mean, if you're under one of these, you know, some sprinkles for five minutes or so, that's about it. But little showers or sprinkles may still pop up as the evening goes on uh, with still some warm temperatures around right now as that weak front's rolling in. You can see the wind switching directions too here with the front moving in. Yeah, it's a very, very weak front. You won't really notice much of a temperature difference. Wind speeds ahead of the front about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but the little arrow is pointing up from the southeast and then behind the front right here. Winds coming in from the north across Star County and most of Hidalgo County right now. So a slight, you know, a little change in the wind direction is about all you notice this evening. 85 in McAllen, 78 in Raymondville, 78 also in Brownsville. Most places, though, have been in the 80s today. We're just cooling back now into the 70s in some spots. Now, future track shows that weak front moving through the area this evening. And this is probably overdone, but you know, in terms of the rainfall, but as the front moves through any time this evening, there might be a little shower briefly or a sprinkle at times. But if you go outside and look at the sky right now, it doesn't look like it's going to rain. And then tonight and tomorrow, still maybe some sprinkles in the morning. It's possible if you're up early starting to cook Thanksgiving dinner, there might be a little bit of drizzle or sprinkles in spots, even maybe some fog early in the morning. But I think that will kind of gra gradually break up into more of a partly sunny day by afternoon. So probably if you probably you can eat outside tomorrow afternoon if you want to, you know, get some fresh air. Should be a nice day out there without too much wind and some sun at times. By Friday, another weak front will be trying to roll in. This one too, kind of moving in from the north, doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, but it still may spark a little shower nearby or in the valley. So rain chances are small on Friday, but most of the day probably looking a lot like this afternoon. And even Saturday with still some moisture hanging around, this map ends at noon on Saturday, but you might see a a little shower sprinkle in spots on Saturday, but nearly every place looks dry again. Day planner tomorrow for Thanksgiving starts off in the upper 60s in the morning. Again, maybe a little bit of fog in spots and then clearing out into more of a partly sunny day and back above 80 by afternoon. So kind of a warm stretch of weather out there across Texas. If you're traveling, there is nothing going on. Travel weather the rest of tonight and tomorrow looks gorgeous across Texas. No storms, no really cold air, kind of just you know, nice mild stuff around. First one five seventy forecast. High temperatures will be back right around 80 or higher for Thursday and Friday. Not too cool in the morning either for Black Friday shopping morning if you're up early. Saturday, slightly cooler behind a weak front that moves through Friday, but not by much. Highs at least in the upper 70s, maybe lower 80s, and a slim chance for a shower. And then the warm air cranks up again. It gets breezy Sunday and Monday with highs back in the 80s. Might hit 90 in some areas, especially in the Upper Valley on Monday, but the next strong cold front that drops temperatures pretty, pretty significantly will be here by Wednesday. Highs could dip into the 60s by next Wednesday. We'll keep tracking the front and the Thanksgiving weather in your first 415 forecast. Oscar.